Hey guys, welcome to today's video. So in today's video, I have a whole bunch of drugstore stuff, um, some of the stuff that you saw in the haul, and, and some stuff that I already had. So I'm going to start with um, foundation. I have the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation in the shade Light, and then I have Rimmel Match Perfection in the shade Classic Ivory. I'm going to mix these two because this one's really full coverage, and I'm trying to use this one up, and it's not, so maybe I can balance it out. So I'm just going to do like a, maybe like a pump and a half or so on my hand and then I will kind of shake some out of this one because it's not a pump it's just comes out but I really do like the Rimmel one it's really one of my favorite inexpensive foundations um it just when it gets to the bottom it takes forever to come out so that's great right We'll just be here for five more minutes as this comes out of the bottle. I'm just going to do a tiny bit. It finally came out so you can kind of see that. Um, just going to put this on and then I'll just kind of do like this. Kind of always like start in the center of my face and like work outward because like that is the focal point. So I'm done doing my foundation and I really like how that turned out. Um, it's not like, um, we could see how it goes, but um, so far I think it looks pretty good. We mixed foundations and that's always a bit experimental. I'm going to take the e.l.f. brow pencil in the shade Natural Brown. So I will be right back with done brows. So my brows are done and I went in with this brow gal pencil and I used kind of like this pinky shade to go underneath my brows and kind of prime my lids. So I'm going to take my NYX contour, take this shade in the NYX contour palette and I'm going to set my lids with that. I'm just going to set it with like a fluffy eye brush and then we will move on to the shadows that we want to play with and then the rest of the face we can mess around with. Okay. So I'm going to use my LA Colors palettes that I got, and I really want to play with the um, extra credit one. It's the kind of um, green one or teal color, but I think I'm going to um, add some of the other ones into it. Probably just, I haven't opened this yet, so we're going to open it right now. So I'm thinking I'm just going to um, add in the Brainy Nude, the Brainy Beauty one, so that we can have some neutrals. And so... Let's play with those. So I'm going to start with the um, extra credit one. And we're going to take kind of the peachy shade that's in it. Number three right here. And I'm just going to grab like a nice kind of um, fluffier brush and pick some of that color up. I have yet to swatch or play with this. So we're going to just go in and on a whim. And I think I'm just going to try to place this all over for like a nice wash of color. I wasn't really expecting very much, but it's not that bad. I mean, it really is nice and creamy. It's going on nicely, kind of mattifying that lid. You can kind of see it's kind of giving a little bit of color, really subtle. So I'm gonna go into the Brainy Beauty palette and I'm gonna take this number two shade and we're just gonna blend that one into the crease so we can have a little bit of some dimension um, and also have it be matte. Ooh, I kinda like just how this is. I could leave it at that and just be nice and neutrally nude. <laughs> No, we're going to play with that teal color. I'm so really excited about that color. Um, see how that one performs and plays with all of its friends. It's that sometimes shadows just don't like work well together. Like maybe like the formulas clash or whatever. Okay, so I'm going to go in with that um, peachy shade one more time and then just kind of get it on like a more stiff eyeshadow brush and I'm just gonna kinda put that more on the inner corner to kinda brighten that up 
Okay, now I'm going to take an actual, I'm going to take this Kirkland Shadow Brush and take the number two teal shade in the Extra Credit palette, and we're going to pick this up. See how I'm kind of just pressing it on. I don't want to blend out the color because I'm not really sure if it's going to be really impactful so far. It's actually really nice. Um, it's not like super pigmented. It's kind of subtle, but I believe it could be buildable. So I'm not going to take it all the way into the inner corner. I'm leaving a little bit of space there. And I'm not going to take it all the way out to the outer crease. Because I do want to add some like darker, darker shades there. But I'm just really building it up here on the center. Okay, so I built that um, kind of teal color up um, on the lid. And it did kind of take a little bit of... Um, work but we got there. Now I'm going to take the number four shade in the same um, extra credit palette and I'm going to build that up on the outer crease. Um, mostly just the outer corner not so much into the crease just here so we can have a little bit of color. It is a shimmer so if you're not really into that maybe stay away um, or just pick something maybe just the number four shade in the Brainy Beauty one and you can kind of go with that so we can have a little bit more no, I mean obviously not together just the crease because I really don't want to disturb that um, I'm gonna go back in with the brainy beauty one at the nudes and I'm gonna take this like kind of shimmery white shade it's more of like a champagne a really light champagne and put a little bit here on the brow bone with like a fluffy brush And then take a tiny, tiny bit and then just kind of, I don't want to do too much here because I don't want too much shimmer, but I need to brighten this up a teeny tiny bit. So I'm going to take my finger into the number two shade to see if it works a bit better and it seems to be doing a lot better. I mean, this can go with any shadow. I mean, it doesn't even depend on like the price some shimmers just apply better with just like a finger <laughs> stamping method I kind of got a little bit of blue right here when I was trying it and I don't know we're gonna try to blend him out so yeah the blue does perform pretty good actually considering um so yeah I'm actually not disappointed in that I think this is a really great palette especially if you want to just have like that pop of color but you're not really wanting to spend like a whole bunch of wazoos on it um I would recommend these for sure these mattes are actually really nice too a good eye primer and you're great so um let's just do some liner I think I'm gonna do a brown wait okay I'm finally gonna just do it I'm gonna take the um <laughs> Revlon Color Stay Skinny Liquid Liner in the color Amethyst Smoked. I've had this for so long and I've meant to use it, meant to use it, meant to use it, and now I'm gonna finally use it in this video. If you watched any of my previous videos. So I will try to apply this. It has a clump on it. Okay, so it applies pretty good. Um, it has a really, really long kind of stem on it, and it's really kind of like um, flexible, um, but it is nice. Um, it is really nice, and I think that I will continue to use it. I'm not like totally against um, liners like this. There are a couple that I don't like. I don't like like markers type type liners, like the stiff, stiff applicators. I don't like that at all. So I applied liner. Now you have to kind of keep your eyes closed because it takes a while to dry. But um, one thing I will say about this is that it does... Sorry, I'm looking funny because I'm trying not to touch my eyelid <laughs> together. Um, I would say that this um, is easy, really easily... Um, you can mess up with it. So that's why it's a little bit thicker because I did kind of mess up a little bit and I had to even it out. But, um, you know, this is actually pretty good and it would be something that I would wear like just kind of, sometimes I just like wear eyeliner and that's it. Mostly just, I like to just wear color. So, um, yeah. I'm going to apply some mascara to the top lashes and then we will be, I'm using... I'm going to apply some mascara now, and I'm going to use Maybelline Total Temptation Mascara. 
I normally would curl my lashes, but I left my lash curler in the other room. All right, now I'm going to apply my concealer. I'm using Maybelline Age Rewind in the treatment concealer, the dark circle one. That's kind of like the pink tone. It's actually um, the brightener, and I haven't used this yet, so we have to get some product out. Now we got some. I'm going to use quite a bit because um, I want to brighten because I got those um, I want to brighten because I have that green shadow on. I don't want it to actually accentuate my dark circles. Mm -hmm. I haven't tried this mascara in quite some time. I just opened it, as you saw with my clicking. Well, uh, that's what I get for going so gung ho and something I can't remember. <laughs> I love this concealer, but I think I went way too much. I went way too much in. So I'm actually going to take the NYX contour palette and I'm going to take the yellow shade in there, in it, and kind of set that, and but maybe kind of tone it down. <laughs> And I'm just going to take kind of the powder that I used earlier and just kind of set those other areas. <laughs> I'm mixing them together. All right, now I'm going to smudge some color on my lower lash line and I'm gonna take the number four shade in the um, extra credit palette, the kind of bronzy shade, and we are gonna smudge that on the lower lash line. I don't know why I sound like Lisa Simpson. I kinda of like to connect to them because I did put this color, I like to connect it, I did put this color on the um, outer corner love it when I get mascara in my eyeball. It's super great. So I just put the Maybelline Colossal Volume Express on my lower lashes. And I super really love the way that that went on. I got this for like a dollar. I got... So... I, I got... So I'm going to just contour with my next palette that I've been using. So I'm just going to use this shade here um, and kind of keep it here higher on the backs of the cheeks for like a contour slash bronze. Um, I just like the idea of this a lot better. And then just sticking with the NYX palette, I'm going to take this highlighter in it. There's two. There's this one and this one. And I'm going to take the lighter shade and just on a e.l.f. powder powder brush. It's like I feel like it's I think my lights on my camera and stuff kind of wash highlights out because like I could be using like papau bang highlight and sometimes I'm like oh my gosh it doesn't do anything so I feel like maybe like that is pretty glowy right yeah that's super glowy take whatever's left on the brush take it down my nose QB bow cubity bow and for today I'm gonna just take my lips are mega chapped because I've been not feeling very I guess I'm not hydrated I don't know it's like it's not like I'm sick or anything but I'm just gonna take a really simple kind of I'm just going to take Rimmel's Airy Fairy because it's nude and it's semi-moisturizing. Oh, it actually kind of hurts to put lips on. I don't even know. It's not like I'm sick or anything. I just 
have chapped lips. It's crazy. I didn't even realize it, but my shirt. I didn't even realize that. What a quinky dink. So that is the end of this video. So it was really fun playing with like some drugstore stuff. Not everything is like mega new, but it was still fun to play with some drugstore stuff, make it real, really inexpensive. Um, and um, yeah, so I got these at the dollar store. I don't know if you watched my last video, but I got these at the dollar store. They are a really great find. I actually have two I still haven't even opened. Um, one is called Big Bang and it's like some more matte, some more... <laughs> one is called Big Bang and I have yet to open it. It's some more neutrals. It has two mattes in it so that should be fun. And then this one is called Foxy Formulas and it's pinks. Kind of purplies. Really pretty. So um, yeah, I probably, if I find any more that are different like variations, I will let you know on Instagram. But if you guys did like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you want to see more inexpensive tutorials. And um, subscribe so you don't miss out. Thank you guys so much for watching. 